I'm just going to take you through our weight step and our random weight step. This is going to be really quick, they're simple steps to use. I'm Alex Barlow, co-founder of Axiom, let's dive in. So we've got a weight step and a random weight step. One lets you weight a set value and another lets you weight, weight values in between. They're really easy to, to set, set up. Um, the random weight you can add two values to, it's all in milliseconds. You can work that out for yourself. Okay, why and when would you use these steps? First of all, attended automation. So when you want to actually interact with the browser, for example, you want to do a manual login, you'll have to, of course, do that on a desktop runner and not in the cloud. Then you can use a wait step to pause your run. It will stop the bot. You can add enough time, let's say 30,000 milliseconds or 30 seconds, and you can then type in your login, however long you need. Then um, I also find them useful when building axioms and I'm running them and they're not quite working, they're misfiring, um, clicks aren't happening in line or some text is being entered into the wrong field is, is a typical thing you'll see. Then sometimes a weight is needed because quite often the things going firing in the wrong, steps firing in the wrong order means um, something, a piece of content has been slow to load or an input hasn't appeared in time and the order's got a bit jumbled up and that's where a wait can be really useful. A final use case I find um, for weights also is when submitting any data via a form or like a, a message on a platform. The post request for those actions can take a little while to get back to its native server and um, if the bot shuts down too quickly, they wouldn't have been stored. So sometimes I add a little wait if I see messages aren't being saved. I hope you found that useful. If you get stuck, please do reach out on our support page. Thank you.